Hey guys, what's up? I'm Tony Honorific. Welcome to my seventh update video about my channel. So yeah, I would like to, you know, announce a little changes and new stuff I'll be doing this week. So yeah, let's go. Now about the journey down chapter two. That is finished for now. Now if you guys don't know what that game is, it's a point and click game slash puzzle game uh, developed by Sky Goblin. And to be honest, it was nice. Yeah, I actually finished it yes no yeah yesterday and it was fine. Yeah. But there's some point I feel like the game's kinda childish, you know, especially the main character. But overall the story is interesting and yeah. It's not yeah, basically it's not done yet, so I can actually review it yet. So yeah, I'll be waiting for chapter three or the journey down chapter three, which will come out January, I think, or February. Yeah, I haven't checked the discussion board yet, but I believe it'll come out around that time. Now, once that come out, I'll be playing it again, and I want to know what's the stuff about the underworld, you know what I'm saying? Or underland, I mean. Yeah! So if you guys want to, you know, check my Let's Play on the Journey Down Chapter 2, yeah, check them out. Or if you guys want to play for yourself, I'll put the link in the description below, so yeah, check them out. Next, so... Ruby, Grim Eclipse, um, that game is finished for now, I should say, yeah, since it's still in early access and there's not much to show but, yeah, like, new skills in each character or unlocking new skills in each character, I should say, so, yeah, um, but I'll actually upload more videos when there's you know new stuff added in the game since I heard that the developers actually gonna add new characters like um, Kira or Nora maybe John and some other characters and such so yeah if that happens I'll upload another video about Ruby the Grim Eclipse also about speedrun um, I might able to uh, actually I don't know <laughs> to be honest um, I'm actually practicing it yeah, I might show it on YouTube. Yeah, I might upload it once I feel confident on my speed and my performance and all. So yeah, when would that come out? I don't know. Um, I don't know, depending on how confident I am. So yeah, just to let you guys know, a little heads up that that might come out. So yeah, for Ruby Grim Eclipse, it's actually paused for now until there's new stuff. So yeah, that's about it for Ruby Grim Eclipse. Next, a kiss of the petals, still going, yeah. The story is getting deeper and deeper, and I think I'm almost near the end, I believe. So yeah, I might able to finish that game, I don't know, on Sunday or Monday, I believe. Hopefully Monday, I think Monday, yeah. No, actually, hopefully Sunday. Either way. It'll be done soon, so just to get you guys a heads up, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, if you guys are interested in watching that, check it out. Next, Time Tenshi. It'll be usual, every Saturday and Sunday, 15 minutes long. And, yeah, check them out. The boobs, the titties, the girls, well, not the girls, but, the, you know, the breast twos, the chest twos. They're getting big every time. Holy shit. So, yeah, if you like, you know, boobies or titties, you know what I'm saying? You gotta check it out. And once again, it'll be out every Saturday and Sunday. The reason is because, it, yeah, check out my announcement video on Time Tenshi. I, I explained it all there. So yeah, check them out. Now, the new games I'll be playing. So since i have done with the Journey Down Chapter 2, and A Kiss of the Petal Remembering How We Met is almost done, the next game I'll be playing, WAS, The Hourglass of Lepidop. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, this game came out on Steam yesterday or today. I don't know. It says on December 16th. So, yeah. Sure, yesterday or today, whatever. It's a visual novel game slash anime with voices. Um, it says an unusual collaboration project between a Japanese freelancer artist, SRL, with local company backing for tourism. Localized by Sekai Project. Now, I never actually heard about this game at all, so yeah, I'm pretty interested how the game goes and such, yeah. Hopefully it's really good. And since the game I've been waiting 
the magical eyes red for anguish it's still unknown on when it will be released on steam yeah so yeah i'll be playing w-a-s the hourglass of lippy don't try i don't know how to pronounce it correct me if i'm you know wrong so yeah now about magical eyes red for anguish um i heard a rumor in the discussion board that it might come out in december 31st so yeah i might yeah start playing it next year instead of this year i guess so yeah, depending on when it will be released so just a little heads up i'll be playing that once they come out on steam so yeah but for now ws the hourglass of lepidoptra will be out tomorrow for show next Right after I finish a kiss for the pedals, remembering how we met, I'll be playing a game called Cute Demon Crashers. Now, just to let you know, a warning, this game contains explicit sexual image. We recommended it for the audience over 18 years old. You have the choice to censor the naughty bits in game if you like. This game is about consent and feeling safe and intimacy, so you can stop the sexy time at different points or keep going. So yeah, I found this game on, where was it? Uh, I believe it was at itch.io. Yeah, one of the uh, free game visual, yeah, one of those free visual novel game place where you could, you know, download and play visual novels and such. So yeah, um, I had this in my computer, or my laptop I should say, for a while and yeah, I think it's time to play. Yeah, I'm really interested in playing this. It's a, yeah, it's an indie game, so, yeah. There's some sexual image, so, yeah. Kind of hyped, I guess. Yeah, the story is about, you're a girl, and you meet this demon, and apparently you have a sexy time with these demons. And there's three guys and one girl. Um, I guess I'll go for the girl. I mean, I could go for the guy if I want to, but I don't know. Depends on how I feel and how the girl feel too. Girl as in the main character. So yeah, let's see how that goes. Oh yeah, next. So another new schedule changes, or added, I should say. So I decided on every Thursday, I'll upload a video that is a, a indie game slash doji visual novel. So basically a casual visual novel day, I should say. Something that is not from Steam, and I'll actually want to play something that is unique, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, just a heads up, every Thursday I'll be playing a random visual novel. It could be sexy, it could be sad, it could be horror, it could be whatever, the genre is everything. So yeah, and if the game is pretty long, I'll actually extend it to the next day and the following day as well. So yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy Thursday's video. And yeah, this time, yeah, I really wanted to play this game. I had it in my laptop for so long, and I haven't had a chance to play it for some reason. So yeah, I want to play it. It's kind of unique, so yeah. Hope you guys will enjoy it too. All right, next. Shin Megami Tensei Imagine Online Japanese Server. Now. As you can see, the winter event is here. And as you see in my uh, yesterday's video, yeah, it's pretty tough. Winter event. Yeah. But since because it's tough, you get a lot of XP by turning in one of those. Uh, I haven't showed in the video, I noticed. Basically, if you collect one of those snowflakes things from the demons, you actually get a lot of XP. So yeah, this winter event is mostly about going with your group and just power level and if you're lucky you might be able to get a pg summon drop or loot from the treasure's chest so yeah and apparently in each treasure chest there's a lot of gems around 20 or 25 gems it could be diamond ruby sapphire anything like that so yeah if you guys are interested in playing it go check it out and have fun with the event now next week oh god next week I'll be showing more campaign and such, and also a, a group run in one of those events. And holy shit, you guys have no idea how much I leveled. Goddamn. 
So yeah, just soloing, I leveled up like 10. Yeah, with group, oh god damn. I went crazy. So yeah, next video is mostly about winter campaign and a winter event with groupies and stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy that video too. And I do apologize for some embarrassing moment in one of my uh, Shin Megami Tensei dungeon runs because yeah, yeah, you shouldn't go alone. Yeah, especially when you're like level 30 with not much expertise on you. Yeah, but hey, at least I leveled and yeah. I had fun, I guess, dancing, even though Satanta did all the jobs, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I had fun. Yeah. So, um, that is about it for now. Um, I'll actually upload next update video probably next week, if I can, on Monday. Yeah, I'll try because the following week, it gets busier and busier for me. Because, you know, Christmas is coming. And, yeah, it gets busy on, you know, my job and such. So, yeah, um, just want to give you guys a heads up. Yeah, I'll probably post it uh, Monday if I can. And I'll post another one around or a day before Christmas Eve, I hope, if I can. Yeah, so yeah, that is about it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Also, it's getting cold. So stay warm and take care. Be safe. Bye. Right. Later.